So I'm just going to briefly go through two articles. There's so much happening now that it really is very, very difficult to keep up. But while I have 15 minutes, I'm going to use it this way. Google and corporate news giants forge new alliance to defeat independent journalism. They are killing the truth. And they're using a lot of methods. Currently, they're coming up with more methods. The new media monopolists of Silicon Valley and the once dominant traditional print media have clearly agreed that the fake news frenzy is a convenient pretext to step up their censorship of the internet through new algorithms, allowing them to boost their profit margins and silence opposition through a new framework of algorithmic censorship. Isn't that great? It is a $300 million project, $300 million project called the Google News Initiative. The move will likely drive the stake further into the heart of independent media while merging Silicon Valley with mainstream publishers traded on Wall Street and aligned with the agendas of Beltway politicians in Washington. Yes, our voices are being marginalized and killed off. This is according to Google. The commitments we're making through the Google News Initiative demonstrates that news and quality journalism is a top priority for Google. We know that success can only be achieved by working together and we look forward to collaborating with the news industry to build a stronger future for journalism. Hey, Americans, how do you like your journalism right now? And in fact, most Americans don't like it. And an awful lot of Americans do see that there is no journalism anymore. But that doesn't matter to these monopolists. It does not matter to these uh, elitists, to these psychopathic nut jobs who want to reshape the world into a world where they can control everybody and create 1984 on steroids, giving us lie after lie after lie, and we will have nowhere, nowhere to go to find the truth. And that is coming. That is coming. You all realize that, right? An algorithmic gag to silence the people. Can you believe that we're living this? Well, we are. And just want to point out, the U.S. government just destroyed our privacy while nobody was paying attention. Did we have privacy left? I don't think we did. But what else has gone on? The Cloud Act was codified in the Omnibus Bill. Yes, they, sn they sneak in these other acts into bills. And they just very easily get codified. I don't even know why they need to pass any laws anymore. For what reason? Just do whatever the hell you want to do because that's what you're doing anyway. God. You have to keep up this pretense like we have a government, like you're actually doing something there in Washington, D.C. The Cloud Act, clarifying lawful overseas use of data act. It updates the rules for criminal investigators who want to see emails, documents, and other communications stored on the Internet. Now, law enforcement won't be blocked from accessing someone's Outlook account, for example, just because Microsoft happens to store the user's email on servers in Ireland. Uh, look, 
we don't have a constitution. Law enforcement has been breaking into people's homes without a warrant. Uh, and we all know that our intelligence agencies, the NSA, they have back doors to all of our computers and we know that everything is being read anyway. So, I don't, I read some of these articles and I go, what's the point? Why, why do you even do this? We know that you're doing what you just codified. As if it's new, it's not new. The Cloud Act will also allow the U.S. to enter into agreements that allow the transfer of private data from domestic servers to investigators in other countries on a case-by-case -case basis, further globalizing the ever-encroaching surveillance state. We are. Uh, where This is the New World Order. And the plans for the New World Order will have one world government. One government. That's it. We're all going to be living that kumbaya, fabulous life where we're all citizens of the world. No borders, no sovereignty, ruled by one government. Doesn't that sound really nice? No. It's not nice. But, so when you see our governments handing over our sovereignty to other governments, you got to get that that's, we're all connected in this beautiful, beautiful world that will be run by the United Nations. Yes, it's a kumbaya organization. Because we, our governments, well, they just don't. They can't manage much at all. So we got to hand it over to the United Nations. What will the Cloud Act do? It will enable foreign police to collect and wiretap people's communications from U.S. companies without obtaining a U.S. warrant. Yes, the Constitution's dead. And you guys who are still stuck in the matrix, supporting Trump, believing that that guy is going to fix things. Wow. You think Trump cares about the Constitution? Think about what he said after that Florida school shooting. Well, let's just grab the guns and do that due process later. It will allow foreign nations to demand personal data stored in the United States without prior review by a judge. It will allow the U.S. president to enter executive agreements that empower police in foreign nations that have weaker privacy laws than the United States to seize data in the United States while ignoring U.S. privacy laws. <gasps> hmm. Sounds kind of like the TPP. It will allow foreign police to collect someone's data without notifying them about it. And it will empower U.S. police to grab any data, regardless if it's a U.S. person's or not, no matter where it is stored. And that's been happening. This Cloud app just makes it so much easier to get any information that they want on us, law enforcement. There ain't nowhere to hide in this new world order. It is 1984 on steroids. We're going to be stuck with lies. The bullshit news that the corporate governments want to dish out. And we will have nowhere to go to find the truth. And should we object, we may find law enforcement at our door. We saw that email you wrote to a friend. You seem to be anti-government. Please come with us.